we can welcome the family home. Ah! Ah! It's flowing slowly, but also more fearsome looking than a hammerhead shark, especially if it's swimming right at you with the evil intentions. Alice Martinez has the scary video for us. Yeah. We've just stumbled onto something that very, very few people, if anybody, has ever seen, and that's a hammerhead at Anakin. Um, you watch me. Oh, there, there's his tail. There he is. Local resident Forrest Galante was spearfishing yellowtail late last month off Anacapa Island. That's when he and three friends spotted a hammerhead shark in the water. Galante turned on the camera, put bait in the water to draw it closer, and then jumped in with a friend. How stupid. Galante says the hammerhead became aggressive and tried to bite. Only when we hopped in the water was it really evident that he was really fired up and he came straight in, you know, to the point that we were pulling our fins in and keeping our limbs close to our body and within, I don't know, 45 seconds of jumping in the water with him, it went from him kind of scoping us out to being right on top of us. After a few minutes, they got back on the boat. Shark expert Chris Lowe from Cal State Long Beach says hammerhead shark attacks and sightings are rare. But he says we're seeing more hammerheads coming up from southern Baja California waters thanks to a developing El Nino. Water gets warm and it moves up into southern California. A lot of times these animals can track that warmer water and are following the prey that are coming with that warmer water. Galante says he's dived with sharks before and he'll do it again. For me, the thrill of interacting with an animal like that is worth the risk. In Santa Barbara, I'm Elise Martinez. To each his own. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's... Stepping up big is hosting a Veterans Day.